Okay. Once again, file, open, go to your lovely Tutorial 7 folder on your desktop, and then go to the Art Files folder within it. And this time we are going to go to Curves. And let's go ahead and open up the Curves file. Update it. Curves are a really hard thing to get the hang of. And it takes some practice. So, um, what I want you to do right now is just make a new document, Command N, and make sure it's up here it says Print, US Letter, hit OK or Return on your keyboard. And we're just going to make some curves first before we tackle that document. So you want your pen tool, that's P on your keyboard, and you're going to do exactly what I say. So listen to my voice um, and make it easier. I hit Command R for rulers, and I'm going to just drag down a ruler that you guys can you can see while I do it. You can do it yourself. Command R, and then just click. You just click up here and drag down. And you get a ruler. All right. So you are going to click and drag up. You are not going to let go of the mouse. You're going to click and drag up. Um, hold the shift down. You just keep it a little neater. <clears throat> so you clicked and dragged up, and you have the shift down. You have not let go of the mouse yet. So now let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key, move your cursor over here, and then click, drag down, hold your shift key down. Now let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key, and move over here. Click and drag up, hold that shift key down go the mouse, let go of the shift key, cursor over, click and drag down, hold the shift key down, let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key, click and drag up, let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key. So that's just a simple curve. And let's make sure, let's hold our command key, hit our command key and just click on the background so it's not Selected, let's draw another line down. Now the problem comes is when you want to do this sort of curve like that or going underneath. You have to convert those direction lines and those are these these lines here. They they act like they you know they act kind of like levers almost. They control the curve and if you want to take a second to play with them you can oops sorry you can see <laughs> that they change the curve. I'm going to undo that. So we need to break that line to make the curve do some different things. So you're going to have to, again, listen to me. And click and drag up. Hold that shift down to keep your line nice and straight. Now you, ha you have the mouse still down. you got the shift down. Take your finger and put the Option key down and drag down. Let go of everything. Move your cursor over. Click and drag up. I'm keeping the shift down. It just keeps it more. It just keeps it neater. And now I have my my mouse down still. I'm going to put my fingers on the option and drag over. And I'm letting go of everything. Now I'm going to move over. Click and drag up. I'm going to hold the shift down. Now I'm going to hold the Option key down, and I'm going to drag this around. Let go of everything. Click and drag up. i got the Shift down. Once I get up here, I'm going to hold the Option down. Once I get up here, drag around. Click, drag up. i got the Shift down. Now I'm going to hold the Option down. I'm going to drag this around. Okay. If you were to try and do that with the without holding the option down, you get you're gonna be like, oh, you're just gonna get this wavy shape, which isn't what you want. Okay. Oh, creaky desk. So now that we've kind of got that down, or maybe you haven't, <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next uh back to the pen, the curves tutorial. All right. Now they've already 
drawn this curve. So we are going to go to curve over here. Now the way this works, let me clean my screen up a little, is that for this you click on the middle here with your pen tool and then you drag to the red and then you let go. And you click in this middle point, drag the red, let go. Click in this middle point, drag the red, let go. Hit P on my keyboard for my pen tool and I'll do it. Click here, drag the red, release. Click here with my mouse. I've got the mouse down, I dragged the red, I release. I click here, got my mouse down, I drag to the red and I release. So there is my curve. I'll do it one more time. Click on this open square, drag to the red, release. Click on this little open square, drag to the red, release. So I'm going to click here, I'm clicking down the mouse, I'm keeping it down, dragging to the red, I'm going to release. And I need to deselect it, so I'm just going to put my, click on my option key, click on the background. Okay. All right, not sure what that little doohickey is, but ignore it. All right, so now let's go to our leaf. It's right in the middle. And grab your pen tool, P, if you don't have it already. This is similar to uh, the last thing where we had to add to a path. So we're going to get real close, and you want to make sure that your X turns into a single hash mark like that. And then what you're going to do is click and drag to the red. And then when you get over here, you want to make sure that you get the closed shape, the circle, indicating you're making a closed shape. You're going to click and drag to the red or past the red. There we go. Oh, that's pretty close. And then let go. So there you go. Got a nice leaf. Hold my command key down. And I'm going to deselect it. Okay. Now we are going to go to the stem tool. Now I had told you earlier under here there's more tools. Add point, subtract point, convert, anchor point tool. This is the one I want you to choose. Now um, we've had curves We've been making, we've been drawing curves, but you can change them from curves to, to not curves um, with this tool, and you can change them back again. I need to, I'm going to select this. So let's hold my command key down for a second and let go. So right here is a, uh, a point that makes the curve. If I click right on that point, it's no longer a curve. It takes the curve away. I can click and drag it out, and it brings the curve back. So. Um, uh, make sure you get right on that point. You always get that annoying box. So we click and drag out and we create a curve. Furthermore, I can click on here with this tool and drag it to the yellow. All right, let me show you that again. So I'm going to click it on here and drag it to the yellow. Down here is not a curve and I want it to be a curve. So I'm going to get right on that point. Do yourself a favor and click Don't Show Again and drag it to the red. There we go. So I can I can convert things from curves to straight, you know, angles back to curves. I can separate these and edit them. All right. Now the last thing, the pair. So many people have trouble with this pair. It's not that bad. Honest. All right. Let me just give you a little uh, tip here. You're going to click in the middle, drag to the red, click in the middle, drag the red while your cursor's down, hold the option key down, and drag the yellow. You're supposed to do that here, but it doesn't work quite right. I think they want you to go back with the convert selection tool and fix it, but we're not going to, I'm not going to torture you that bad. 
All right, so we're going to, if you follow me, you're going to click in the middle. You're going to drag to the red. Let go of your mouse. Click in the middle here. Drag to the red. Now hold that option key down and pull it over the yellow. Let go of your mouse. Let go of the option. Click in the middle here. Drag to the red. Hold that option key down. Drag to the yellow. Click, let go of your mouse. Click in the middle here. Drag to the red. Hold that option key down. Drag the yellow. Let go of your mouse. Click and drag the red. Let go of your mouse. Click in the middle. Drag to the red. Let go of your mouse. Click in the middle. Drag to the red. Click in the middle. Drag the red. Click in the middle. Drag to the red. Click in the middle, drag to the red, and then when we get to the end here, we want to see our friend, the circle, telling us we have a closed object. And there we go. Perfect. If you had anything a little bit off, you could use the, the white arrow tool to adjust it a little if you felt it needed any adjustment. Um, probably, hopefully it won't, and I'm going to just grab this and fill it with a lovely color. Okay, so that's it. That's using the curves tool. I know I made it sound easy. I know it's not. <laughs> Good luck.